Hey, hi, Glenn here with Schweitzer's Nursery and Landscaping in the Gardens of Castle Rock. We're here in the shop where we just finished uh, putting together some stone pillars that are going to go into the landscape. Let's watch a little time lapse about how they went together and then we're going to talk about it just a little bit more. Walking down the street just like I own it I'm rolling to the beach just like I wrote it Watching the sun go down is disappearing Cause in this part of town it's pretty clear that I can feel the same It's only Friday night You bring my Saturday to life Come Sunday, will you be my wife? Mm -hmm. You make me go from poor to rich Puerto Rico Come on Monday, don't be such a I hear a lovely sound, it's all around me I see the sky above me, it's so lovely One girl or half a dozen cities buzzing A scented summer breeze comes over me And I can hear the city more And if you want this always more Thank God it's only Friday night Saturdays to life Come Sunday, will you be my wife? You make me go from poor to rich Come on Monday, don't be such a Come on Monday, don't be such a Come on Monday, don't be such a Monday, don't be such a Come on Monday, don't be such a Thank God it's only Friday night pretty cool how these go together. Best thing about that was the crew from Arabella Stone, they came down and helped me out. Actually, they did most of the work. I was in the background just getting stone and helping things. But it worked out perfect because it was 30 below zero outside and it was a toasty 60 degrees inside. Yeah, do the math, 90 degree difference. So it's a perfect thing that you can be doing during the winter. But let's look at how we did this and I'll give you a little bit of footage and we'll get a little bit closer come Sunday will you be my wife you make me go from poor to rich come on Monday don't be such a so we started out and it was another part where I made these bases these are six inches deep um, all that I did was just take some uh, cardboard cutaway. You can use anything. You actually, if you really wanted to, you could just make uh, a square out of one by sixes and fill it up. We did a 5,000 pound test, um, just bag, kind of a, a quick mix type thing that went in here. What I did do is, you'll see the little hole that's right here, is we did put a piece of PVC on the inside that came up into the center. And and once we install these in the landscape, we're going to be adding lighting to them. We'll put the light and then the limestone cap on top, and they're going to look so sharp. Hey, if you've done something like this in your landscape or in your business, leave me a comment down below on what it was. would love to hear about it. All right. So also inside this base right here, we did a kind of a mesh of like I'm doing a little hashtag, not really, but a mesh of number five rebar. We just put two pieces in each direction. And at the same time, we took a piece of rebar, put two wings out on the bottom, brought it up and then folded it over. And that's given us a little hook. You'll see that in the video that we slice in here. 
on that. And then we also set the first CMU unit in, into the base itself, built it up a little bit. So that hook is exactly what it is. That's how we're going to take the chain and then hook into it, drop it down through all of the CMUs, and that's how we're going to move these and then at some point place these in the landscape. So we also, as we built up the CMUs, um, you'll see in the video, because we're going to share a little bit more video, at each layer we put in some brick ties, um, one on each side at each level, just to help tie it all together in there. 90% of the stone was remnant stone left over from projects that I just kind of save everything um, until it's not worth saving. Uh, but, so most of this was remnant stone, a few new pieces in there. You can use leftover stone, you can use brand new stone, it really doesn't matter. Uh, these are 20 by 20, I'm going to set a 25 inch cap on top when we do this. Um, they're 38 inches tall, they're about 8 to 900 pounds, so it's not something you can just kind of lift and go out set out there. That's why we have that hook in there for the chain. We will use a skid loader to come in and lift them up, palletize them, um, and then set them out for uh, later and before we install them with the gantry crate. All right, let's watch a little bit more of us kind of finish putting these together and then we'll kind of wrap up in the end. Do you have the call by? Do you have the pick up on the phone? Stop pretending like Oh, 
chest You're all I want, now keep me warm Just like a dream I'm coming in All right, pretty cool, huh? So there's some neat things about this. One, yes, it's a great winter project. Here in Minnesota, we've got a good six months, four months, whatever you want to say, of landscaping or of winter. Some years it's, it's more winter than landscape season either way. What this can do is it can extend your season so you can be working on a project year-round. You can make a number of these, put them in stock, and install them later. But it's not just a winter project because if you think about I don't mean, want to say the mess, but all that goes into this and the, the dressing of the stone and getting in there. This can be done off-site. So if you're working around a pool and you're doing something there, you can make all these pillars, have them ready, uh, even in the summer. You can even do it on the job site there, and then they're really easy to set. So setting these, we're going to put in, in Minnesota, we have frost down to 42 inches during the winter. Um, we are going to do a 48-inch footing, 24 inches wide, fill that up. Same thing using one of the, the cardboard tubes, the sauna tube, the new form. That will go in. We'll measure it out so it's just at the right height. So the top of this base right here, that top of that base, then will go in at ground level. Um, easy to do the lighting on there and it's nice and easy. So like I said, if you're working next to a pool, you don't have all of this mess going in. Put in your footing one day come in the next day, set your pillar, put your cap on, get paid. Hey, I really appreciate that you took the time to watch the video. Hopefully you learned something out of this episode of Landscaper Know How. Leave a comment on how you would do it or what you learned in this video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. Ding! So you get notified when we do another video. Whether it's a cool Landscaper Know How project like this one um, or Ben and I in the shop or just something that we're doing here at the gardens, growing the gardens. We do appreciate the time that you invest in the channel and uh, watching the videos. Say, so, until next time, um, that's about it. We're going to get these palletized up, get them set outside so we can get on to the next project in our shop. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.